Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So we are continuing our aptitude series, general aptitude series for upcoming CSI net exam. And we have done quite a few topics on that. And I will give you a link in the description of this video for the playlist. Also that will be in the i button. You can watch uh, if you want to watch the other videos of this particular series. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about geometric progression or GP. Now we have already covered from the sequence and series. There are two major parts. One is arithmetic progression that is AP and another is geometric progression that is GP. So arithmetic progression or AP is already covered and again the video is in the playlist. I'll also link that in the i button. You can watch that video. So let's talk about geometric progression. Okay. Geometric progression. Now as we have discussed like it's like uh, we are talking about sequence and series so some some series of numbers are going to increase over here or there will be an increase in the values of the number and that's what we are going to look upon okay so in the geometric progression there is a series of numbers in which you will find something like this let's take a series it will be like this okay uh, then we uh, sorry uh, then we have uh, um, yeah so we have um, something like this okay so if this series keeps on going like this that's what we call it as geometric progression now how you will identify that a particular series is, is a geometric progression we have to always divide the two like the adjacent two of them so if you divide four divided by two you will get two okay you should get a same number again if you divide these two if you divide 16 by 8 you are going to get two again if you take these two so it's 32 divided by 16 and it is again 2. So basically every time whenever you are dividing uh, the number with the preceding one, you're always getting a common number and that is called common ratio. Okay. So in AP or in the arithmet arithmetic progression there we were having a common factor or common difference. Over here we have a common ratio and that is denoted by R. Okay. The first term first term of IAP is denoted by A and the last term the last term of IAP is denoted by sometimes AN or PN okay? it can be denoted by any of one of them then sum of N terms can be denoted by SN okay so these are the ways or these are the notations which you are going to see um, it's pretty simple to identify a geometric progression. What you'll always have to do is just divide a number with the previous one and you should get a, a like you should get a GP. Okay. Uh, like you should get a common ratio. All right. So let's discuss about some formula which are important ones and which you need to know in order to solve questions related to general progression. So first of all, the general form of a GP is given by this. Okay. So a GP is represented by this the first term is a the second term will be a r third term will be a r square then fourth term will be a r cube and so on okay where a is first term and r is the common ratio now if you want to calculate the nth term of the gp okay nth term of gp that will be calculated by that is given by tn and it is equals to a r to the power n minus 1 okay so a is first term, R is the common ratio, N is the term which you want to find out. Let's say if you want to find fifth term, N will become 5. If you want to find out tenth term, N will become 10 and so on. Okay, N minus 1. That's the formula. Then in order to find out the common ratio, as I said, it's very simple. You just have to divide the two adjacent ones. So, uh, yeah, so if you are dividing by, if you divide A2 by A1 or if you divide a3 by a2 or if you divide a4 by a3 all of them are going to give you the common ratio okay then if you have to find out the sum of n terms okay of gp the formula is given by sn and that is equals to a then we have r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 okay so this is a little it looks a little complex but it is very simple to remember in the numerator it should be a to the power r, sorry a r to the power n minus 1 
and divided by r minus 1 okay so you have to remember this formula it's very important okay um, this formula you are going to use if your common ratio is greater than 1 okay and if the common ratio is smaller than 1 then in that case the formula will become a and it will become 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r this will be used when r is smaller than 1 that means if you have the common ratio as 0.5 or 1 by 2 or something like that in that case there are few more formula which you should know for example sum of infinite gp okay sum of infinite gp so the sum of infinite gp will be uh, given by s infinite and this is equals to a upon 1 minus r okay so this is how you calculate it then uh, if you have to find out the kth term from end okay kth term from end means from the last if you want to find out then that can be calculated will denoted by tk tk denotes the kth term from the end and this is equals to a r to the power n minus k okay where n is the total number of terms okay where n is total number of terms so these are major formula which you need to know okay very simple and like after this i think you will be able to do all the major questions from gp so let's take some questions uh, and let's try to solve them by the way we already have launched a course for general aptitude on our all board chemistry app if you are interested and want to practice more questions for uh, for your uh, csa net exam you can enroll yourself into that course there's a big library of questions over there more than 800 questions are there as of now we are continuously adding more questions in that uh, question bank and you have detailed solution of those questions right so moving ahead let's take some questions on gp and let's try to solve them all right so let's start with this question over here it says that find the sum of first 15 terms of a geometric series where the first term is 2 and the common ratio is 3 okay so and the number of term is 15 so basically a is given to you as 2 r is 3 and n is 15 okay we have to calculate sn so sn is a uh, and because r is greater than 1 so you are going to use r to the power n minus 1 divided by uh, r minus 1 okay, right this is the formula which we are going to use so a is 2 r is 3 to the power 15 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 this is going to give me 2 3 to the power 15 minus 1 divided by 2 this 2 and this 2 is going to get cancelled out so my answer should be 3 to the power 15 minus 1 now you have to solve this and uh, in case if you are given with calculator if you are not it will be very difficult to solve this question so you should be given with a calculator to do the such question but yeah uh, 3 to the power 15 is going to give otherwise the options will be in this form okay so the 3 to the power 15 is 1 4 3 4 8 9 0 7 i have used calculator to do it and minus 1 if you subtract you get 1 4 B4 8906, which is your option number C. Okay, so that's how option C is your correct option. All right, pretty simple and straightforward question it was. Okay, let's take another question. It says if the sum of first 12 terms of geometric series is 4095 and the common ratio is 2, what is the first term? So again, we'll use the same formula, but in this case. We have to calculate the first term so we are given with sn which is 4095 we are given with number of terms which is 12 we are given with common ratio which is 2 and we need to find out a okay so let's try it so we know that sn is equals to a r to the power n minus 1 because r is again greater than 1 that's why i'm using this formula okay so this is given to me as 4095 and on the other side i don't know a and r is 2 to the power n is 12 minus 1 and divided by 2 minus 1 okay so now this is going to be uh, 4095 that will remain like as it is a and now i have to calculate uh, 2 to the power 12 right so let me just use my calculate calculator uh, so 2 to the power 12 is going to be 
nine uh, sorry four zero nine six okay so that will be four zero nine six minus one and divided by two minus one is one so basically one is here so four zero nine five and if you subtract it so it becomes a into 4095 if it goes in denominator so the value of a comes out to be 1 so that's how your first term comes out to be option number b okay pretty simple same formula just another thing to be asked so i think by, with these two questions you get to know that how to use this formula to solve such question i'll take a little different question it says that if the sum of infinite geometric series is 24 and the common ratio is 1 by 2 then what is the first term now here i am going to get i am given with the sum of infinite series and that is 24 and the common ratio is given to me as 1 by 2 and a is being asked okay so the formula for infinite series is this a upon 1 minus r so i'm going to use that so my formula is s infinite is equals to a upon 1 minus r I'll use this formula. So S infinite is 24. Okay, so that is 24. A is what I don't know. 1 minus 1 by 2. So if I solve this, so it will be 24 is equals to A upon 2 minus 1 upon 2. So 24 is equals to this 2 will go in the numerator. So it will become 2A. 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's what it will be. So A will be 24 divided by 2. A is going to give me 12. Okay. So my option number 2, correct option. Okay. So infinite series question or question related to infinite series can be done in this way. All right. I hope you guys have understood well. Now I'm going to take a very different type of question. And this is probably the last question for this video. It says that the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series is given by this equation sn is equals to 3 by 4 in the bracket 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n what is the common ratio of this series now it looks very different and difficult but it is very simple okay see what's the formula so sn is equals to 3 by 4 i mean what's given to us so let's write it down 1 by 2 to the power n now if i show you or if i tell you uh, the general formula to calculate sn there are two formulas right one is that s n is equals to a and r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 and one more is there which says that uh, s n is equals to a and 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r so if you compare these two from this part you can say that it is quite similar to this formula right so that means you can now relate these two things now what is missing here see something to the power n is there okay or 1 by 2 to the power n is there which looks quite promising from here that okay this also has 1 by 2 to the power n and it has r to the power n by that also you can say that 1 by 2 could be your common ratio but let's not assume things and let's try to be little skeptical about it and let's try to solve it okay so or let's try to you know simplify this so let us assume let us assume that let r is equals to 1 by 2 if r is equals to 1 by 2 and if i put it in this formula so my sn will be a and it will be 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 okay and if you solve this it will be 2 minus 1 so it will become a 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n divided by 2 minus 1 upon 2 and if you solve this further so you are going to get 2a uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power and now this one looks much more similar to what you have over here sorry what you have over here and if you compare these two you can now calculate the common ratio or you can tell the common ratio and you can also tell the value of a okay so from here so let it be let this be equation number one and this be equation number this be equation number two so from one and two what i can say that the common ratio is one by two now i would like you guys to tell me in the comment section that what could be the value of a here 
you just have to compare this 2a with this value and you have to tell me what value of a you guys have got okay that is first term so let me know in the comment section for this question the answer is option number a that is 1 by 2 all right so that's all for this particular video i hope you guys learned and understood something new for the general aptitude and i hope that in the exam when the question comes you all will be able to solve such questions so that's it from my side thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care